This week we're going to be reviewing for your final. So let's start off with typography. The first thing that we want to do is look at our architecture. When we look at the architecture of a typeface, we want to see its cap height, which is the top of the, the capital letters. We'll also have the baseline, where all the letters reside. Don't forget that the lowercase letters go up to an X height, and that a J or a G or a Y have a beard line. Now remember that there are two types of typefaces. Serifs, and if we look at serifs, remember that serifs have tails at the ends of their letters. And we can see that closely right there. All serifs have some type of tail. The other typeface are sans serifs. And remember, sans serifs, as we look, have no tails. Although sometimes, like in the letter A here, they do have an angle at the end, but don't confuse that with any tail. And sans serif means without serifs or strokes at the end. Remember that serifs come into three flavors. And our first flavor of our serif is old style. And remember that old style is really simple. We want to look at the serifs, and we want to see that they are slanted. We also want to see that there's a stress or a diagonal going through. And lastly, a transition between thin and thick, but not really thin. A nice thin medium to a, a medium thick. Next we have modern. Remember with modern, the serifs in modern are exactly vertical, I mean horizontal. Next they're going to have a vertical stress. And lastly, their transition is going to go from thin to super thick. And then our last are the slab serifs. Slab serifs, again, have that horizontal, straight, but this time, the serif is going to be thick, or it can be thin. They also have that vertical stress, but their transition is single weight throughout is the same stroke. It doesn't vary in thickness. Then on our other end, we have three types. We have a black letter, which looks like Old English. Or calligraphy. We have script, which looks like handwriting. And we have decorative, something that doesn't fit into any category. So remember our typefaces. We're going to start with serifs and sans serifs. In our serifs, we have old style, modern, and slab. Then we have script, black letter, and decorative.